Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner, and this is a live, okay? I hope everyone is having a great, great Monday. I have not talked to y'all live in almost a week, okay? Now, look, I'm sure by now everybody did see my post. And what I said and how I said it, okay, I had took me a little, little mental health break and whatnot. Um, I'm doing more premiere videos. I'm not going to be live as often unless, you know, something happens that's, you know, like, okay, we have to discuss it like today. Woke up today and everything was crazy. The housewife stuff, the Diddy stuff or whatever. So this calls for a lot, okay? However, I want y'all to be aware that even if y'all don't see me on live, that does not mean I do not have content around here. Y'all have to make sure to check my page, because YouTube will be real funny acting. Check my page, because, you know, it may not tell y'all I had content up, but I be having content up around here, okay? There's already a couple videos that I posted today, so do that, do that, do that. But how y'all doing? I miss y'all. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Make sure to subscribe around here. I know YouTube has been unsubscribing people. That's a weight on my shoulder. So make sure y'all be subscribing or whatever. You know, like the video, share the video, comment in the comment section around here. Follow me on social media at Jay Lee's Corner on IG, Twitter, and Tick of the Talk. And that's what we do. We're going to always also relax, relate, release, sit to ourselves and everyone around us. Because sometimes I have to remind even myself to inhale and exhale. Good Lord Jesus. Like be like it, okay. How y'all doing? Hello, everyone. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Um, I am well rested. This lie will only be one hour. Okay, that is my new roof myself. If I go live, give them an hour. Okay, you get off work, you get home from work, give them one hour. Okay, anything I do not cover in an hour today will be in a premiere tomorrow morning or in a live tomorrow. But unless we're not going to have, you know, daily two, three, four, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it no more, Jesus. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm joking, I'm joking. But that is my rule for myself. That is my own mental health, mental wellness, woo-sa, 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 you know, an hour, an hour, Okay. But if something big happens, that's different. 
If we have a watch along, that may be different. I'm just making sure that I tell myself, Jaylee, you can't go live every day after work for two and a half, three hours because you're going to go insane. And that's what happens. Okay. But thank y'all for being here. Hello to all the peoples, to my ma, to my members, to uh, the J of the birds, newbies, OBs, bees that don't know, and whatever in between. Hey, my, hey, my, that's my ma. ma. I just talk to you. Love you still. Okay. But how y'all doing? How everybody is having, you know, some kind of great day up in here. Um, I miss y'all. Look, y'all don't know how I miss y'all. I miss y'all so much. I miss my Jaybirds, you know, I did, you know, I was like, I can't, you know, I got home from work Thursday, and I was like, no, Jesus, I quit everything, and every day I try to come on and, and come and get y'all, and I'm like, no, this rest, but I miss y'all, I promise y'all, all the days, you know, from Thursday till today, I miss my people, I miss y'all, and I love y'all, okay, child said I was, I said, the minute I say, I'm not going to go live. Something happens, and then what? I have to go live. Um, but I hope y'all was able to watch my gossip chat that I put up this morning. That was still an hour and a half. Again, when I do a premiere video, it'll still be, you know, me and my extraness. It'll still be long-ish, okay? Um, some premieres, you know, may only be 15, 20 minutes. But again, if I'm doing a, a premiere video with multiple topics, It'll be a nice little length, okay? But I was like, I'm not going to do no live today. I'm not going to go live today, y'all. You know, and I'm at work. I'm like, Diddy, Diddy, what? Hey, buddy. God said, Jaylee, you rested. Okay, now get up, my child. <laughs> but I got so much mental, emotional, uh, wait, mental rest, emotional rest, uh, physical rest, all. Oh, all the you know stuff that in an AL, okay, either AL, LLY, all that stuff, okay. And I'm back, okay. I miss y'all. I'm hey, girl, oh, this is my friend. I know her in real life. Hey, girl. Um, see, sometimes because sometimes I don't be looking at next because I don't be focusing sometimes, but I'm like, oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> um. You know, here, uh, hold me, okay? Now, I do not have a timer up, but, you know, come 10, some, come 10 something, we done, okay? You know, we done. I'm, I'm going to try. <laughs> but that's why I did not put forth a whole bunch of topics. I'm not strict, stick to the housewives, and that's it, okay? First of all, <laughs> let's get into this. Let's get into, hey, Lisa, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. So I, you know, what the, the if you did not watch the premiere gossip chat from this morning, um, I discussed the the TikTok girl who started to go fund me because she wanted people to pay for her to get a matchmaker because she wants a man, and a matchmaker costs like three grand. And so old girl put up a whole go. I said not a go for me for a man. I said, I said if that's I said look if people around here putting up go fund me's. To get, I said, I want a new car. I want a new car. And I don't, I don't have the extra, you know, 10, 15 grand that's sitting around, you know, because, you know, to to buy a car, you need an extra, you know, 10, 15 grand sitting on the side somewhere, you know, for a little, a little, a little good down payment. So my car note can be low as well. Okay. And I said, I should have, can I do a GoFundMe, you know, and say, hey, y'all, I want to get a new car. And I don't have the extra 10, 15,000 to get a new car. And the people around here asking go fund me to find them a man. And a man ain't going to do shit or whatever. The, a car, I can get y'all car conversations. I can drive to and from or whatever. Now, my car is safe. I just want a new car. I don't have a newer car. My car is fine. But if I had a new car, hell, it could be a new, it could be a 2022 car. It don't have to be a 2024. Okay, I'm just saying. If people can be around here having GoFundMe's to get a a uh a a, a um matchmaking coach to get a man, I'm like, can I ask for ten fifteen thousand dollars from the American people or 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 the world or the world, Craig, to get me a new car because it can be everybody. And y'all know I keep I keep putting it out in the atmosphere. I need four. I need four 
no four, no three rich people to send me 40k. Why not to do a go for me and all the millions of people can just send me a dollar? Okay, because if 10,000 people <laughs> send me one dollar, that would help. Okay, so thank you, Lisa, <laughs> for that. Means you watched the video from earlier, okay? But again, hi, 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 hi to the people. We're going to get into it. I miss y'all too. Love, love, love. Okay. Love, 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 love. Uh, we mm, we going to chop just one hour. Just one. Okay. We shot a little around here. Relax, relax, release all stuff. Um, I was like, it's so much. It's so much. You know what I'm saying? I, appre I appreciate y'all. As my mom told me, I appreciate Look, you see it? I would I, every day. Every day, I'm 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 gonna try to go on my computer, and when I came and sat down in my chair, and cut the computer out, God said, "Jay, we go back to bed, <laughs> go to sleep, <laughs> go take a nap, go drink some water, eat a little fruit, watch Halo." You know what I'm saying? And I just, you know, replenish myself. But I appreciate y'all so much. Okay, but today it's a lot to be discussed. Okay. A lot to be discussed. Okay, I'm ready to be messy. My dad was coming home from work. That money. What, 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 what is your daddy okay? A tree. No, well, well, thank God he recovering. Okay, prayers to Mr. Fonzarelli. I think it's like Mr. Prayers for Mr. Fonzarelli's daddy. Thank God he recovering. Okay, child, lots of love to take in. Okay, um, really, yes, I want that for you, but I'm fine. <laughs> nah, why are you saying that? <laughs> um, it's not gonna be midnight. Mm -mm. Nope. I did I did not even save stuff. Okay. All look, all we got is this. That's it. It's really it's some housewife stuff, some diddy stuff, and that's it. I'm a child, I'm telling y'all, 10 30, we done. It is 9 23 here. Okay. And 10 we done, 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 done. Okay. But Hey, 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 hey. Now, because y'all don't believe me, y'all don't believe in me that I can really push it to one out. Child, we're going to pray. When I, when I said it to my mama, she was like, mm-hmm, okay. I said, mama, don't pray. Mama, don't be no hater. Mama, don't be no hater, okay? I'm leaving it to just these little topics, okay? And then we're going to be done. And I'm not gonna allow y'all to allow me to run my mouth a whole lot. Okay. I'm gonna try my best. To, I'm, I'm gonna try my best to ignore the comments. I'm probably not gonna do that. But y'all, let's get started right now. <laughs> let me share my screen. I saved some stuff. We're gonna stick to the stuff. And that's it. And even though, okay, even though I don't be um, where's the thing at? Let me leave it right here. Um, even though I forgot what I was gonna say, my mind is going crazy, but let's get to the stuff that's get to. Now, we had a whole conversation, okay, a whole conversation about you know the RB people, you know, RB divas, you know, T, not TLC, uh, Escape. You know what I'm saying? S double U the V. Okay, in the season two, S double U V. Okay. Uh, we had a whole conversation about if they would be coming back for a season two of S W V to escape the RB Divas of America, something like that. And the Jasmine brand said, Oh, we're getting a second season. Lily was in the comment. That ain't who said that. That who's who said that? We ain't signed on. We ain't did this. Carlos, not Carlos. What's that man name? No, Don Juan. Don Child. Don Juan came said so that they, they got the. And I said Candy was was around here shooting something with her group mate. So something is coming. I said if it's not a season two of the show, it's something with them in another female group. And I was right. Because today, Candy and them, Candy, Tamika, Tiny, not Latasha, 
uh, Lily, Taj, and Coco put forth this little teaser with Mona Scott. Y'all know Mona Scott was the one who got them that first when 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 Escape had the first show on Bravo with the four of them, and that was with Mona. With this uh, set, uh, girl, this show, the Escape and the SWV, that was Mona. So when Mona is around trying to say, okay, y'all, are y'all going to be around here? Get it, Are y'all ready? And ready for what? So this is a teaser, meaning one of two things. One or two things. Either the TV show is getting the season two. And or they are going on tour, finally. Okay. Now we see, you know, the, the thief, the thief ain't here. Okay. We see who missing. Let because who, who ain't stealing? This ain't stealing. This ain't stealing. Latasha ain't there. Her husband ain't there. First of all, we ain't seen Latasha and Rocky in, in two bits of a girl. What they at? Let me go to her page. Let me go to Latasha's page. Is she still around there? Is she still? Oh, uh, listen, I am Latasha. Girl, hold on. Let me. Girl, does she? First of all, not her until now on the child. Now she tagged and stuff, it's fine. She took everything down. Okay, everything. All that's left is something from May of 2023. I'm sorry, March. March of 2023. Okay, everything gone. It just said Latasha. Don't say it, don't say Latasha Scott. What y'all think that means? Now, first of all, if this, you know, is she trying to say I'm a brand new person? I have deleted all the stuff of my past. Let me take it all down. Because y'all know she had that Christmas album. She had that gospel album. She had cookbooks and stuff. And when you come and take down all your stuff, and only your, I am Latasha, not Latasha Scott, okay? At the all, now I'm not saying I know for a fact that her and her husband is not together. What I'm saying is, when somebody come and delete everything, a clean swipe, Wiping all the windows down, make it fresh and clear. It's some, is it's some papers. It's some papers in the wall. About to sign them papers, them papers. Okay, cause she ain't nowhere in the skit. You know what I'm saying? The skit is strictly the three ladies of SWV and the three ladies of Escape. Okay, ain't no Latasha nowhere up in here. Okay. Not is, is Mona supposed to be the, the Tasha stand in? Okay, is Tasha sitting somewhere in the back in the, in the closet? And then part two of this thing, will she walk out and they say, Who was that? Who is that? Her? Why is she here? She got I don't know. Okay, what I do know is I told y'all that they were getting a season two and it's gonna be something. I because look SWV is look we uh I get so weak and then we know we know we know it's them we know they legendary we know some folk would prefer you know SWV over escape that's fine 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 however escape ain't never got the promotional backing the promotion the promotional attention that they got from being on this Bravo show with escape. And if they were smart business women, get your ass back on the show. You can they can say all they want. We don't need escape. You want, but you want to check. Okay. Anyway. Y'all think who Josh? Nah, if I if I was to ask Natasha, can I interview her? She'll probably cuss me out. Anyway, 
We shall see. Uh, congrats to Tammy. You know, look, I Tammy. I don't know if y'all know Tammy is one of my. Come on, I forgot. I'm the fifth member. I'm the mama. Um, Tammy is my reality television superstar. You know what I'm saying? Tammy to me has for sure put her foot in the world of making, you know, a, a mountain out of a molehill and then building a lemonade stand for one lemon and then climbing to the top of the mountains um, with rocks tied to my ankles and I'm trying to climb my way, you know, up to the top. Tammy is that girl. So when I see her succeed further in the realm of TV, producing, directing, and creating all that stuff, to me, it's great, 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 great. Okay, Tammy and I did not watch season one, but I, look, I'm a I, look. I get aggravated because I start liking these shows and then they get canceled, and I'm all I'm hooked. I be hooked and it's canceled. So sometimes I'm very weary about um watching first seasons of shows that I don't know if I'm gonna get a second season. House of Visions, which is on my you know, to watch list on BT Plus. I just haven't watched it. Now that I know she got a season two renewal at B, I'm going to watch season one. I'm going to watch season one. So Tammy show House of Vicious, which I also read as Holes, <laughs> Holes of Vicious, um, is getting a season two. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You know, great, 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 great. Look, y'all, look, y'all don't know. Y'all be writing stuff on, you know, the, the Mac stuff. And all, BT Plus be having some good show. I, I, yes, I am going to watch. Uh, the Is it Daria from Detroit? Daria from Detroit? I'm going to watch it, y'all. Give me some time. I was I was trying to watch it this weekend, but child, it was, I was going too much. So I did not, and I want to be able to focus on the show. I'm going to watch it. But BT Plus, do have some really good shows, okay? Get into all of it. But congrats to Tammy for getting her season two. It's the new season because there's eight episodes with, with starring star Tammy in the lead role and all these other people who named out like going through. But season two, okay? Look, when we had so many shows get canceled and we be pissed. Oh, I'm so pissed. They canceled the show. They can so when you see shows getting a second season, support, support, support. Okay, support, support, support. BT Plus has great. If y'all around here Zeus in it, if you got a Zeus subscription, get you a BT Plus. Uh, and, I, and, and BT Plus ain't paying me nothing for this. I'm telling y'all not. Get BT Plus. You gonna like. It. Okay, look. Even the even some of the time the parent shows, but I like Zatima. I do, I do. Tammy, yes, Tammy is also, also on. Tammy is on the family business, the family business, which comes back, I think, in June. Season five comes back in June, I believe. Tammy is on the family business on BT Plus. She's on House of Bitches on BT Plus. She's on the Miss Pat show on BT Plus. Okay, Tammy around here doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Doing the damn thing. Kingdom, yes, Kingdom Business was a great show. Um, shall, let me let me log in my let me see. Let me log, let me log in. I can just this this quick, y'all, because we because we, we only here for an hour. Okay, we on. Why did I said I didn't reset my things. Child, y'all, mom, what's mom? What's my parents? <laughs> we be we be sharing stuff around here, and because child, let me see. And if, if YouTube knocked y'all out, because I just seen it knock me out, uh, if YouTube knocked y'all out, come on back in. I'm still here. Come on back in. I'm still here. Okay. Now, my shows that I have, I have, as you see, okay, I have King of Business. I got the team of all the Queen's Men, the family business, Miss, oh, the, the Miss Pat Show, Black, the Black Hamptons. Okay, and then the first wives club. Okay, so these are the shows I have been I have been watching. 
So those are my favorite shows. Okay. But I need, let me, let me just, cause I, I, I ain't, let me go ahead and, and like that, put it on my little list. Okay. Daria from Detroit, I'm going to get into it. Hey, I'm going to get into it. But I just need y'all to know, you know what I'm saying? It's all kind of shows around here. Now, I do not get into Ruthless. I don't have time for the, no ma'am. Okay. But those my few shows that I like. Okay. They also be having some movies. Anyway, um, get into the BT of the plus. Now, let's run because we've been on here for a little time. Um, what's next? Well, speaking of shows, okay, your now look, your four year was comes on HBO. I am sick and tired of shows being put on pause, you know, postponed, and all of this. Um, I feel like you know we wait. Now we know that when season two ended, the the strike happened and uh, and all that stuff. Then one uh, uh the, the one guy died on the show the one guy on the show in real life died okay so a lot has played the show okay but i feel like the fact that they're still saying oh you know the script you know it'll probably the show will probably come back sometime in 2020 i think 2025 now i'm truth be told um p valley p valley need to hurry up and come I feel like when shows take a two or three year hiatus, it's not worth it. Because by the time it come back around, I'm I didn't forgot. I didn't forgot. Now, I believe hopefully P Valley is at least shooting. Okay. With with Euphoria is saying they had child, they ain't did a script yet. Because you had to first write a script. Let the food learn the script and then shoot the show. And now I'm like, I'm not trying to child. Point, child we, we don't care. Okay. Let um Zendaya go do something else. Okay. If you can't put out a season three for two years, you not Marvel. This ain't no movie at all. Anyway. They say it's coming, but it's gonna come, you know, possibly maybe next year. Uh, congratulations to Brisha Webb. Brisha and her husband had their baby. Girl. Oh, her name is Brave, born on the 21st of March. Hallelujah. Okay, you know, they said this because huh, 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 that's her with the baby. That's him with the baby. You know what I'm saying? And that that's them saying, Oh. In the home of the brave, because she brave. Because they said when the pregnancy got hard and veered into complicated territory, you're courage you courageously grabbed us by our hearts and led us to your birth. When we were scared, you were brave, living up to your name. Welcome home, brave. I'm like, that's so cute. Okay, okay, okay. So congratulations, congratulations, confetti. The baby is here. Okay. Brisha Webb to me is such a wonderful actress. You know, I just love her. Yes, I love her. And so congrats to her, her husband on their on their new baby girl. You know, he does have a daughter. But they're a whole, a whole, a whole great little baby, whatever. A great, a great family and whatnot. So this is a family's second child, but Brisha's first, you know, child. Okay. So congrats and all well wishes to mom and baby girl, you know, who's newly here. Anyway, now let's get to the bull stuff. Where I want to start? Where I want to start? Well, I, I, this is one thing I got. Cardi, child Cardi. Cardi. Cardi went away for a minute. Cardi B had went away for a minute or whatever. She went and sat down. Cardi had, Cardi had been off of social media. We had not been here much. I was happy Cardi went and sat down some damn well. Well, Cardi came back slowly because she's been, you know, putting out music or whatever. And Cardi said, listen up, hoes. I'm done with bitches. I'm done with, I'm, I'm done with the arguing. If anybody want to see me, they can fight me. Like, I'm, I'm, I got short nails now. So, if anybody got an issue with me, they can link up and they can fight me. But I mean, look, at the end of the day, <laughs> if you want to box, let's box. You, do what you're going to do, okay? Now, Cardi did come to the comment section and say, hey, 
You're mad because I'm tired of indulging in drama, but was happy when as soon as I came back, I'm reading this love because child, but it was happy when as soon as I came back online, these weak ass rap bitches was throwing me shots and you was loving it. But when I defend myself, I'm the problem. When I don't want to give into the drama, that's an issue too. You love when they throw rock, but hate when I catch it. And this page is so damn negative. Yet you swear I paid to be on here. After all the positive, positive I said on that space, you took the 30 seconds that could be negative and ran with it. Now, I want to say this. The reason I feel she's 100% right is because at the NAACP Awards, it was a clip they posted of um, Kerry Washington, and they were making it seem like she was, you know, shunning Oprah, oh, the shade of it all, blah, 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 um, and stuff. And then they posted that trying to make it seem as if Kerry Washington is also somebody who, you know, don't like, wrong way, who don't like um, Oprah. But in the full clip, you saw, damn it, if YouTube knocked y'all out again, come on back in, because it just knocked me out again. So again, y'all, YouTube, I can't control it. So, you know, don't I, I can't control it. So if YouTube knocked y'all out, just come on back in. I'm still here. I'm still here, here, here. Anyway. Um, but they posted the video that made it seem like there was drama and that wasn't true. And to me, sometimes the neighbor talk is a messy blog. I do feel like sometimes they will take a shady moment and post that for clicks and views. That's true. Um, and so I agree with her saying I was on the thing talking about all this other shit. And then y'all posted one thing of me, you know, saying, you invite me, bitch. Just that. Just, 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 and it's like, it's, okay, if you want to do that, then fight me. So I'm like, girl, okay, fine. Fight, 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 fight. Do I really feel like she's going to fight people? No. But I do feel like her point is, I'm I'm tired of arguing. I'm going to fight bitch for now. Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's what it was. Uh, next up, who do we want? Let's start. Let's start with the Potomac girl. Let me just scroll on Pat and let me scroll on Pat Diddy. Let's start with Portia and Sam. Okay. Now, I want to make some. Well, first, 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 y'all, could we only gonna be for an hour? I want y'all to take one little second. You know, dance with Nikki and them and like the video. get into the foolishness that is Portia and Simon. Now, I feel like Portia is like, who did I marry? Who did I marry? Now, this Portia and Simon are happy and in love and together as a, a unit. And then Portia looking like, well, who the fuck is them people? That's you, Portia. That's you, Portia. That's you, Portia. Y'all are each other. 
So Portia went and filed for the work assignment, and it's been drama, drama, drama ever since. I swear. Between stuff she be posting, stuff that he be posting, um, y'all just it's just messy. It's 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 so messy. However, it matches what happened. And oh, I watch on my TV. So I think if someone's watching either on their phone, which most a lot of folks watch from, because I'm my phone is in front of me. I need to bring my iPad in front of me one time and see what does it there. But if you're on your phone, I mean on your TV, I'm happy don't knock y'all out. Um so yeah, but again, Portia and Simon, this divorce, it matches what happened with when Portia was with Simon and he was divorcing Fallon. It was Simon round here talking cash to child. Simon, I have been saving stuff, but it's, it's, I just had not got to it. Um, let me see if I still had because Simon was like posting little stuff. Comment little stuff, saying little stuff. Now I was like, why being a little messy bih? Okay, I'm like, why Simon being a little messy bih? And I'm like, oh, well, he was always that. But at that point in time, that's we were doing to Fallon while with Portia. See this? See this is why this is why I love that I be saving stuff. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So when I see him saying this, well, how somebody, you know, Simon pinned this on one of his posts. OK, um, the ex-wife really went from Gabadia to Williams again, who goes from an ethnic ancestral name to an unseasoned name. And what Simon pinned the shit and was laughing at it again. Simon is a messy B.I.E.S.H. OK. Um, we put if you if you if my post upsets your sensibilities, unfollow button top left. I was like, sir, shut up. Also, here where you know Sam is is pinning now. Like, Simon is this the Simon have fake pages where he says stuff and then pins it. I just wonder. I am not gonna lie, she's way more beautiful than Portia. Simon, you are messy. You are a messy Gemini. Laugh out loud. You know how to hit someone where it hurts. If I was Portia, I would be bothered for real. Again, Simon might be the one making these posts and liking them and then pinning them. Okay. But Simon is a messy BI each. Okay. Messy BI each. I, I'm happy I say that stuff because I would have forgot. But now with him and Portia, well, where did it go? Where is him and Portia? Where is him and Portia? Simon and Portia around here, all up in the B of the S. It's crazy to me because now he didn't went out and told the phone. This is per page six. Okay, per page six. Saying Simon claiming Portia brought a gunman to their mental home resulted in the police being called to maintain the peace. Now, let me go read it while we look at the fools around here, okay? Now, this is the get you guys. Simon's trying to say, oh, she brought gunmen to my home. She brought, child, first of all, when someone says they brought gunmen, that, oh, yeah, shoot them up, bang, bang, some gangsters. Maybe she had armed security. Don't folk be getting robbed all up and through Atlanta in the surrounding cities. So maybe Portia's around here with armed security. But she's Portia Simon. She's Portia Gubadi or William, whatever. Whatever. Okay. But he is firing back per page six in the divorce filing claiming in new court documents that the House of Atlanta Star brought an armed gunman to their marital home. That sounds like the armed security. And if I'm beefing with my husband, mm -hmm, why would I not bring somebody with me for protection? Because clearly y'all beefing. Clearly. Clearly. Okay. And if she's coming to get her things, why would she not want to protect herself? Now, it says he alleged that, he alleged that she abandoned 
their house at one point, only to return with a man visibly bearing a gun for reasons unknown to Simon. For, because it don't matter. If that part, whoever she brought, if they had a life to carry, let them carry. Okay. Um, he, uh, he claimed that Williams brought the man on two occasions. Oh, so maybe he's security. He's armed security. Simon, you're not dumb. Well, you may be. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Um, he also said that during one instance, which took place on March 21st, not today, today the 25th. If that happened, of because yeah, I'm assuming it had to be this year and not last year. Okay. That means on Thursday, if it's because today it's Thursday, Okay. It says on March 21st, Simon had to call the police to maintain the peace. He also claimed that Williams had third parties to call and harass him and others in an effort to force them out. Now, this is the thing. Portia and Simon had a house that we seen them when Portia and Simon, when, when Portia was on um, Tamron Hall when they got engaged, and Portia said, yeah, me and Simon get in the house. And Tamron said, y'all bought a house together when y'all wasn't married? Well, yeah. yeah. So they got this house together. So who gets the house? So I, I, can, I can believe there's probably tension between who's supposed to be the house, okay? So but he's claiming that Portia had third parties to call and harass him and other people in efforts to get them out. So I'm trying to force them out the house. He alleged on the 24th, which was yesterday, Portia, her mama, and her mama boyfriend made a forcible entry into the man and read it off. I'm like, is she locked out? Because what is a forcible entry if you still live there? What is a forcible entry if it's the house y'all both own unless you change the lock and she could not get in and she pushed the door open okay but he said okay Portia her mama her mama boyfriend made a forcible entry into the marital home disengaged security cameras and tampered with items and evidence evidence of what evidence of what again she came in the house and disengaged security cameras and tampered with items and evidence. Evidence of what? And if I live here and I walk in the house and I cut the alarm off because I walk in the house, so what? I live here. It's in my house, okay? Um, he says, since the filing of the infant divorce, wife's actions have been erratic, unstable, threatening, and harassing to the house staff and the minor children. The, because um, it, it says her behavior has caused safety concerns, especially since there are minor children, his children, who live in the house. So Simon and his kids live there. And he's saying, Porsche around here causing dis the, uh, disruption for my, I'm like, what about what about PJ? What didn't didn't she live there too? And then we married, and this is our house. Why wouldn't he leave? So Simon is requesting the judge issue a restraining order against her. I said, bitch, what? This is messy. And a part of me wonder. Is Simon hoping to possibly still be on the Housewives of Atlanta? Because if he's actively beefing with Portia, where producers want to hear his side of things, is that what's going on? But with him saying that she forcibly entered the house, that means to me he she the lock got changed. You know, even him mentioning how his kids is there and how she's a disruption to his kids. Oh no. What about PJ? Don't she want stuff in her room too, child? It's just messy. It's messy. And a part of me feel like Simon wants this to get messier because he wants the attention. 
And I also feel like, because Portia ain't said nothing. She she don't be saying much. Portia be la 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 la. Like she was like, no man, no so I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. And I also felt like, you know, PJ had a birthday. Okay, fun, fun, fun for PJ or whatever and all the kids. And I'm like, not a Simon in sight. And that be the gotcha gotcha. When you marry somebody, y'all have children, and it at first it's okay. This is blended family and blah blah bloop. And then divorce and the kid has to like, oh, Simon ain't around no more. What happened, mama? Your mom made a mistake. Simon ain't shit, daughter. Let's move on. I just want Simon to take us out the group chat. I want Simon to stop. Just to stop. Because again, because this this matches the exact same things that was going on with Fallon. And it just to me reminds me of all the stuff that he did to Fallon. It reminds me of how when he and Fallon were going through the divorce, how he was consistently commenting and posting things and just taking things to, you know, the streets of the social medias. And he's now doing that exact same thing with Portia. Can't nobody tell me that Simon is not making sure the, the, the media know the beefing and what's going on. You can't tell me no different. It's just, at all. And the fact that um they weren't married, it was less than two years. So I saw another post somewhere that said Simon was Simon was trying to say that Portia, you know, married him, you know, and all this stuff, and then tried to quickly divorce him to get a certain amount of money that's in the in the prenup. And that's why she was saying, Hey, we need to enforce the prenup. I'm like Get out of my face. You get on my nerves, okay? I because some of this won't some of it won't even play out on the show. Because it ain't time. But anyway, who do we want? No, no, I don't want to do me yet. Um well I wanna I wanna touch on I want to discuss a little bit about the Potomac finale and the fight and all that stuff. Um, shout out to Layla Lynn because Ashley had went on her live yesterday because y'all know after the after the finale finale aired, the fight scene happened, and we see the aftermath of that. And from my opinion, when I rewatch the fight between it was it was it was, it was Deborah. Candace, the girl Kiana, and stuff. I watched the season finale. I did not need to watch the full season. Um, I fully feel like Deborah was 100 percent wrong. Deborah should have never been invited. Deborah should have not walked up to Candace and all that stuff. She should not have tossed a drink on Candace. I also feel like Kiana. I, I feel like if Kiana had not swung and then hit Deborah in the face, even if her intentions was to move Deborah out the way, Kiana doing that and that hit Deborah in the face, Deborah then swung and hit her back in the head because a, a cup was in her hand, and that's how the fight started. To me, it's also just like when Monique and Candace got into it. How when people's hands and hands and hands, and on the replay of Candace versus Monique, Giselle and or Robin hands went in and hit Monique, and then Monique swung on Candace, and the, and the, and then the fight happened. Um, I feel like 
Potomac having this is now their second, at least their second real physical fight. Now we've had pushing and shoving and you know what I'm saying or whatever close proximity arguing, but this is the second fight on this on their show. And this is not to make it seem as if no other show has fights. I'm just speaking about like this. Um one words can cause fights. Cause some folk be like, don't talk about it, let's fight. <laughs> However, to me, Deborah was 100% wrong. She should not have been invited, blah, blah, blah. But I also feel like if Kiana did not, you know, hand and face to, to Deborah in that, in, 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 and in her doing it, she hit Deborah in the face, period. She did hit Deborah in the face. Deborah then swung back and had a cup in her hand head hit, and then Kiana, and then, then it was a fight. Boom. Two things can be true at once. Two things can be true at once. Meaning, Deborah is at fault. Deborah was wrong. She should have never tossed Adrian on Candace. Candace is 100% innocent. She did not do anything to Deborah besides the word she said, but she did not physically touch Deborah, I do feel like Deborah wanted beef with uh with Candace. Um, I do not feel like Ashley knew Deborah would fight. I don't think that. I don't think any woman on the show would bring someone to fight. Now, did Ashley come around here? And did Ashley probably know Deborah? Deborah would probably fuss with Candace. Yes. But fussing with somebody, as they all do, is nothing. The fighting is what's different. But if you watch the fight video, which is only about 30 seconds long, if you watch it in slow, and I can't play it here, okay? If you watch it in slow motion, Deborah tosses a drink on Candace. And when she tosses a drink on Candace, Kieran instantly, hand up, and boom, Deborah's hitting the face. Deborah, Deborah's reflex with her other hand hits Kierna, but she did have a glass in her hand. It was the same glass that she just tossed the drink on Candace. And then the fight happened. So while I do not blame Candace, I do not technically blame Kierna. A part of me still wonders if Kierna had not intervened and hit and moved a hand and hand and face. To Deborah, I do wonder if a fight would have happened because if you notice after the drink is tossed, people grab Candace because Candace, Candace with the bravado, Candace, don't do that, Candace. Candace with the bravado, they was already de escalating Candace. That was already happening. And why that's why asking them did not know what happened on the other side because they were. Telling Candace the whole calm down. Then a whole fight is happening over here. And it all happened in within 10 to 15 seconds of each other. So it was, it was a quick thing. Um, but Ashley was on one of her lives. Actually, a shout out to Lady Lynn who caught it and she posted. I'm just reposting into one of them, okay? But Ashley was on her live because people were blaming her and saying that she, you know, tried to have um Deborah fight. Somebody. When I first started the show, I was a newlywed. I'd been married for a year. I wanted to have a family so badly. You watch me open a restaurant, close a restaurant, have some issues conceiving, to ultimately have two amazing boys, and then make one of the hardest decisions of my life, which was to end my marriage, okay? So thank y'all. Number one. Number two. Girl, you and Michael, girl, y'all is together. Y'all right so fucking. It, it's probably not an open marriage. Two. Um, a lot of people ask why I asked if the cameras were still rolling while we were filming, okay? And I want to say that the reason I asked that, sorry, I just got a WhatsApp from somebody. Sorry, got a little distracted. Okay. The reason I asked that is because when we're filming, we can only play cleared music. And our event, which first of all, major shout out to um, Zebby's Garden and Mayflower, which is a club in DC. They really hooked us up. They did everything they could for us. No one could have anticipated the events that transpired that night. The club is not at fault. Like, they were amazing. So the reason that I asked for the cameras to rolling is because 
when the cameras are up, we can only play clear music. And I want to give props to Bravo and Truly Original, my production company, because the music has gotten a lot better, okay? It used to be karaoke beats. Now we got some bops, okay? But still, people were like, hey, like, are we going to get some different music? Because our event went a little longer than anticipated. So we were like, okay, y'all. So I'm asking, can I tell the DJ to start playing some drop of, like, pop music? That's what I wanted. Everybody wanted to clap some cheeks, you know? Which Not clap some cheeks. Now, I want to make this, because, again, I, while I feel like, um, Ashley bringing Deborah around. I don't blame Ashley. However, I still feel like once she saw how Deborah lied the last season about Chris or whatever, girl, cut her off. But she did not. I don't blame Ashley for Deborah Deborah's actions at all. I like how on the finale. She said, I don't like what Deborah did. I'm taking a break from Deborah, whatever. I never knew that side of her. We were only like mommy friends and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I don't blame Ashley for Deborah's actors. I blame Deborah. Deborah was the one wrong again. I just get you know what I'm saying? But secondly, you know, her saying that, you know, people kept on saying that she, that people kept on saying that Ashley. And Deborah was the one saying, oh, are the camera down? So that way Deborah can pop up. For a lot of these shows, we've heard that before. Um, we've, we've seen that on the House of Atlanta where they're at these, these clubs or whatever. And while they're filming, they can't play like copywritten music if they're rolling. So I do feel like as she's, because again, we, we were told at the end of the event, the cameras went down because the event was over. Now we can play regular music. You know what I'm saying? Um, so is that uh I think Ashley knew Deborah being there would at least cause some kind of argument with Candace. I don't think anyone thought that a fight would happen, in my opinion. I feel like because Ashley is messy and she will cause an argument, but an argument does not have to turn into a physical fight. So, you know, that's my cup of tea. Oh, gosh, let me take that back. That's not what I meant to say. But, you know, everybody wanted to dance, okay? So that's why I asked that. That's Clear music is music that has been approved by uh, Bravo and Truly Original. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's the only reason I asked that. That's actually not a spoiler. It's not brought up at the reunion, so I can address that now. Um, but that is the reason that I asked why the camera's still rolling, because we wanted to play some different music. I had no other intentions aside from that. Um, you know, as I have said and repeatedly say, I don't condone fighting. I just don't do it. Like, we talk, we yell, we say things with our words. You know, my castmates and I have all gone toe-to-toe -to -toe at some point in time. I've never, ever thought to use my hands. I'm just not that way. So, for the actions that happened that night, they are not in alignment with who I am. They are not in alignment with what I believe. And I could never have anticipated that that would happen. Um, I know a lot of people think otherwise, but, yeah, I just don't get down like that. I don't roll with it. It's unfortunate that it happened that way, but, you know, I can only deal with the aftermath and, uh, you know, that's, that's it. I'm an adult. You've never seen me put a hand on anybody, okay? I'll never spank my children, and I'll never put hands on anybody who doesn't touch me first, and that's just that, so. <laughs> Babes, I don't like fighting. Let's not say those things. No one is to blame except the person who initiated it, who is Deborah. okay? Deborah should not have thrown the drink. Words should not have been used, but Deborah should not have thrown a drink, right? So. That was wrong. Um, uh, what else? Let's see. <laughs> Doom, I think my friend sort of set me up so she can have a moment. Another thing, no, I don't. I don't think that, you know, the way that uh, that transpired, I don't think that that was her. I don't think. I don't know for sure because we actually have not spoken. But, you know, I don't think that was her intention. So It was, in my opinion. I, I, I do feel like the intention was, some shit gonna go down, okay? So, all that happened, blah, blah, blue. Today, we find out that Candace has announced her departure from the show. Candace has been on the show for six seasons, okay? Y'all, do y'all, y'all, look, that's Candace season one on one side, and Candace season nine on the other. Her shit looks so different. Like, she, that could be her sister or cousin or whatever. Anyway. Um, 
Candace announced that she's leaving the show after six seasons. She told people that she would not be returning, you know, next season, season nine, um, as I embark on a new chapter after six remarkable years with the Housewives of Potomac. I am filled with gratitude for the enriching friendships, personal growth, and moments of introspection that I've that have defined. This journey with a whirlwind of new opportunities and responsibilities on my plate, I have decided to take a break from our HOP. Now, I don't feel like Candace got on my nerve <laughs> her first couple of seasons because her first couple of seasons, Candace was such a brat to me. Um, she was a she was a it was like a child, um, having fits or whatever. I will say the past like two seasons, I liked Candace. You know what I'm saying? I felt she had grown a little bit. So um I thought she would have been good for next season. However, I also feel like six seasons on the show, it's okay to leave and do other things. You know what I'm saying? She has her music stuff that she's doing, she's been acting or whatever. So this is a good time to leave. I also feel like the show does need a shakeup. You know, this season was so aggravating to me. That's why I really didn't watch it. Because no tea, no shade. I feel like Giselle, Beyonce, be of the ass. I feel like all of them, y'all, Giselle, Ashley, all of them. Um, something has to give. And I feel like Candace probably, like, let me leave before they try to fire me or not hire me, let me be, let me have me my choice to not come back. And then, you know, what can anybody do? Because I'm done. Okay. They're done. They're, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> it's like, I'm just over it. I'm over it. So what could you possibly want from me? What else could happen? What else could you possibly want? Why even try to force me to stay. And so she made a smart decision for herself. She said, well, I, why, why I just think I'm trying to, I'm trying to download a graphic and I'm like, why the wrong one keep uploading? Um, But a part of me also feel like, that's not the wrong one. Um, she also maybe saw the writing on the wall to where the show was going downhill. The show was going to need a shakeup. Um, most of the get you got the shit happens after the season wraps, truth be told. Um, but you know, we're gonna wish her well in whatever endeavor she do. Uh, she chose she chose to leave, and so she's done. Okay, then. Then I said, Robin, Robin Dixon. Now, per the Jasmine brand, allegedly, Robin will not be returning because she's been fired, okay? Meaning she won't be asked back. She didn't choose to quit. They said, ma'am, have a seat outside the building. We don't need you here. Not today, not ever. To me, Robin has been a failure as a housewife for a number of seasons, okay? Robin has been keeping her actual life child off camera, and I am a firm believer that if you are on a reality show and you're not showing not none of your life while you're here, not only that, y'all know, do y'all know why did not show up to the reunion? All the other husbands or whoever was there, but why wasn't? Why ain't working no more? He couldn't be in busy. Why is every year why can't come? Because why is working? He's a coach. They're blah blah blueing. That man is jobless. Why? Why was he not there? What happened? What happened? Okay. So I hope it's true. All tea, all shade. Because Robin has not put her on weight at all. When for for your husband to not show up and to force you to face the consequences and the questions of his actions, child, y'all don't want to be on the show. 
Wild Wine showed up a little bit, little bit, little bit during the season. For him not to show up to the reunion is a slap in the face. So if your husband cannot actively participate when half the shit is about y'all and him, then what you here for? Okay, go make money somewhere else. Okay, and that's a Robin was the red winner. Robin check from Housewife was a good check, and your husband will not at least do his little his little part. If you have embarrassed Robin all up and through here, for you not to want to just show up for one day, even if you say I'm I said sorry and that's it. I said what I said and that's it. And I'm saying for you not to want to just help her, support her, be her support system at work, and that's where the money comes from. Let me forget you, huh? So if the Jasmine brand is right, and usually they are, usually they are. Um, and Robin is not going to be back next season. To me, that makes sense. That means that Mia. Bia and this bo- shit with me, we're gonna get into one thing. Um, Karen and her DUIs. I'm pretty sure um Giselle will be discussing the aftermath of her daughter going to college and her father passed away. That's gonna be her thing. Her I'm, I know, I know it. Giselle's gonna have her grief with losing her father. Okay, so to me, that gives Mia, Karen, and Giselle their seats. Because uh, Candace left, they're going to keep Wendy. Uh, NECA and Kierna, optional. Ashley should leave. Ashley should leave. Bring back a scholar. Bring back a scholar. And if Wendy and NECA can fix that shit and stop fussing, then they that will be a good cast because now you've just added you taking away Giselle's uh comfort blanket, which is um, I'm not saying they're being crazy, you take away the comfort blanket of Robin, so Giselle gonna, is gonna have to be on her own two feet. Bring back, bring back a scholar, let Wendy and Necca. Stop being on bullshit. Kierna can probably come back too if they get rid of Ashley. Um, Sharice can possibly be a friend of because she don't do shit no way. And you that can be a different a different show because you then have full time, you know, NECA, full time Kierna, full time Scholar. Ch- M- Mia, sh- let's let's just get to Mia. Where is Mia? Mia around here, child. Mia, I don't even understand how Mia has survived on this show for many seasons. We got ele- we have eleven minutes left. I told y'all by ten thirty when we done. Um, I don't get how Mia got to this point of the show. Without no one realizing she is full of shit. Completely full of stuff. Because the way she came on her first season and this, oh, with this loving marriage with this rich man, and I'm a kept woman and I was a stripper, and he came and saved me from the stripper pole and all that shit. I, I feel like. That was Mia's story. That is what Mia told us was her life. You know, that how she loved Gordon and blah, 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 blah. And lo and behold, she round here with the goddamn DJ. Okay. Lo and behold, this whole time she's with that man, she's with the dude. Now, I, I was like, what is going on here? Mia had a Mia had an actual scandal, sort of kind of the whole time. Child, Mia and Gordon 
at the end of the se- uh, end of the episode, you know what I'm saying? It was like three three months after you know the final episode or whatever was filmed. Them, you know, them filed for divorce, and the cam was picking up and going and having a co- sh- ch- them showing Gordon and Mia basically have an argument because see, like you've been cheat, you've been cheating on me for ten years. You have been cheating on me before our marriage, during our marriage. You know, when I had the prostate cancer stuff. Um. You know, and I and I knew that. You know, I would not be able to, to you know to perform you know. Well, that. You can go and do stuff. You hear me? And we can have this open, tight marriage. I just need you to not embarrass me. Okay, do not embarrass me. Do not bring the kids around that man. And, you know, just don't put it in my face. And then he like, but slowly, but you putting shit in my face. The kids telling me how you fucking that man, and I'm paraphrasing, but the kids telling me, you, did y'all slept together, whatever, you know, and, and, and why does Ink think our oldest son could possibly be his? And when me, child, let me get on camera. Let me, let me get on camera. When Mia said, well, yeah, I told you that the timing of me getting pregnant, you know, is a possibility that our son might not be yours. And he told her, "I'm I, look, I'll love him like he's my own. I don't care. And they never got a DNA test for their, I say, bit. now this to me, to me means Mia's irresponsible and so is Gordon. And if the ink dude had even an inkling that that child could have been his. So for all those years, you said, I don't care if, if that's my son, let him be raised by somebody else. Now, those the kids. Let me show y'all where they at. Those the kids. Now, I don't know who they look like. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, if you have children and for anyone to say, well, you know, it's possible that the baby may not be yours. And even if Gordon said, I don't care, I'll raise the baby like it's my own. So, so Ink didn't care that he was possibly the daddy. He a daddy. Because don't a child have the right to know who their birth father is? And then if, if you two got to like come back in, you know. Then, because God forbid, years down the line, Gordon dead, Mia dead, the boy need a blood transfusion, and his real daddy don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like who? Like, like what? And when he said, "That's not fair, Gordon. That's not fair," he, he said, "If you want, a, if you want a fair, go to a carnival." I said, "Go to a carnival." It was just too, it was so much. And I seen the ink dude who was interviewed by Carlos King, you know, a couple months ago, who said me and Mia were dating before she met Gordon. We were living together. They were like high school sweethearts or whatever. And Mia was out here stripping. She met Gordon. Gordon bought her a car while she was living, while her and Ink were in a relationship, she met, Gordon was married, Mia was living with Ink, they were a couple, Gordon bought her a car, Ink found, Ink found out about it, either way it go, she, her, her and Ink broke up, she married Gordon, had kids with Gordon, but because Gordon is an older man, and, came, and Mia, Mia, Mia trying to act like Oh, you know, no, Gordon. Um, you know, he didn't have that much money. I was girl, miss if Gordon did not have much money and you not fucking him, and he you don't love him really, 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 why did you stay? To me, Mia stayed until she was able to financially get money on her own. Had Mia not 
been pushed out of his family's company. She would have stayed. It got to the point where it no longer made financial sense for her to stay with Gordon. Period. Because if, you, if you're already banging ink and he's the love of your life, but you choose to leave him right at the time, your husband, who you've been bragging for seasons, he is this money, 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 money man. And now all of a sudden, I got an inheritance. I was stripping. He used to love my life. I'm like, they had, now Gordon and me had an open marriage. Yes, they had an open marriage. But however, if there's rules like, hey, just don't let me find out shit and do not have my kids around whoever you fucking around with or whatever. And me is what <laughs> she breaking all the rules. And once Gordon was no longer a pocketbook for her, a wallet for her. She did not have the access to once they get put out or had to move from that big ass penthouse to that other house and from that other house to, the, to that little ass apartment. Mia said, I might as well be with the DJ. So Mia trying to play it off as if no, Gordon changed. No, bitch, the money changed. The money changed because the way. Me have been lying to us <laughs> since the beginning. And so is Gordon. But Mia is completely changing everything she said. Completely. And that's why now that she know Gordon does not have access to money. I can't fuck Gordon. I have to work myself. On TV, I'm now me. I am now me authoritarian of Housewives of Coming. I might as well fuck him in, in public and let Gordon be the babysitter. And that's what it was. Because now, child, let me go back to Mia Page. Okay. Because this Mia Page and Mia Child. Her and that man, it feels so good to be in, in love with someone that makes me feel loved. This man has my whole heart. I feel so happy and I got my best friend back to complete. I'm all for finding the love and being with the one you love and blah, blah, bloop. But, bitch, you know, don't make it seem as if we crazy for saying, bitch, you was just, bitch, what? Bitch, what? You know, night child, they all hugged up on walk with child. Mia asked, let me get up and put a video, do a picture. Mia was on Watch What Happened Live last night. Okay. Mia had ink up in the up in the um in the thing. Let me see. First of all, I also feel like Mia's face looked different, and I don't know why. Let me open up these three. Mia had that man. On child, gotta finish up. Mia, <laughs> we got Diddy next. Mia had that man on the Watch What Happens Live. First of all, Mia face looked different. Okay, Mia face looked different, and you can't tell me different. And Ink, uh, I said, Ink looked like a child in line at the grocery store. Okay, Mama said, "Son." Hold my place. I'm gonna go get the eggs from aisle 18. Okay, aisle 18 is 18 hours across, and he next in line. He ain't got no money, money, and mom and I back. He looked like a scared little child. Take the shades off. Ain't no light in there. And she up there, face looking filler. Okay, child. I don't know. I don't know what Mia did her up look. It didn't. But she brought that man around there to watch what happened live. And she's just like, well, yeah, I was having an affair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was an affair. Mm -hmm. Gordon knew. You know, uh, we, I'm like, what? I'm just confused. And again, you, you around here in the damn latex 
uh, leotard. Okay, cool, proudly on fire from the sweat and the, the plastic of it all. Your man up here looking like who shot Johnny? I didn't shoot Johnny. Yes, you did. And because you feel like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, Gordon knew. You know, Gordon knew. Do what? Gordon knew what? Gordon knew what? Because y'all were lovey dovey at y'all were lovey dovey all And I'm not saying that marriage don't have issues or whatever. And Gordon said, I you know I knew you had been cheating. I knew this, but we had this. We had rules, and me and said fuck some rules. The rules were only in place while you could pay my lifestyle, and you can't no more. So you can't. And let's not act like that. This man ain't no younger version looking version of Gordon. That is younger. That is younger Gordon. She replaced Gordon for the younger model, the child model. Okay, mommy, can I have some ice cream? That's we look a ch child. I was like, no, I said, what? I said, why you look like that? That man don't look like a happy child, happy to get a happy meal. I'm happy if Mia is in love. Fine, 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 cool, cool, cool. However. However, for the season that you were on the show, you portrayed uh, Gordon as the money rich man who you love. You like older men and blah, 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 blah. And then this season, once filming stopped, now you're in love with your old sweetheart. Miss me with the bullshit. Okay. Miss me with it. Bye. However, Mia and her little daddy son, okay, <laughs> her little daddy son, Mia and her little daddy son has gotten her another season of the show because people are, and you and can't nobody tell me that little daddy son do not want to be on television on Bravo every Sunday night for attention. That's why the man show up to the Watch What Happened Live and his turtleneck and his little chain and his little shades. Okay? That's why. Because, yep, get me on TV. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't use my real name. No. When Mia said, he goes by Ink. Ink? Nigga, what? What, even we know, Dr. Child, what's your real name? What's your mama named you? What did your mama name you? Let me know what your mama named you. Thank you, Shani, for the super chat. <laughs> you know, it just, it, it's, it, it's, it's foolishness and shit. And I want to reiterate, I want to reiterate, I am all for people who like, I'm just no, I'm no longer happy in my marriage. But you can't come around here at the end saying, well, it was never what it was. Bitch, it, you told us that. We believed you. So what do you mean? But now she around here with little daddy son on her lap, child, and he, child, tag him. That ain't, well, let's go to his page. That ain't what's your name, sir? Yeah, he's a DJ. He's a D. I think, I think it is Atlanta. He's a DJ. Um, and when, when he's he's a radio bitch, he's a DJ. He's spin the records. He spins the records. Okay, he blue, 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 blue. Thank you. What's your role for the cat cat? He's a, he's, you know what I'm saying? He's a child, whatever. He round here, you know, it's, it's about the message, not the mess. Post it on the corner. You now, this is the corner. Okay. This is the corner. Love conquers all. I'm all for it, but miss me with the book. child, not them on vacation. Put girl out here pushing the mama on the screen, okay? And it's, it's so cute when the kids push their parents. Mommy, look at what I can do, okay? 
Love, you always, always is forever. You know what I'm saying? Girl, boy, man, people. He like, no, use my, you know, my stage name. Individually outstanding, collectively exceptional, posted on the corner. What corner? This is the corner, and you now you sir. What is going on? And why why is she out in lingerie in a jacket? Because now they can be together. Now they can be happy. Mia is still married. <laughs> she is not divorced. She's she's separated with a boyfriend. You know, Mia around here with a whole boyfriend. Okay, a whole boyfriend. He, who's a DJ in Atlanta? I what's the time? What's his name? What's his I what's it that that <laughs> Boy, is it boy? I think it's is it incognito. I just wonder what's his real name because you know when when he told when when Mia told Andy, don't he he goes by ink. You know he does not want anyone to mess up his brand. Let's see who is the radio productivity in Cognigra. Growing up with the military foundation based in Columbus, Georgia, Jared Incognito McGriff was born in 1985. The Jared, 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 doesn't that? Child, Mia. I just feel like we all have been hooked with the bamboozle because the whole time, um, you know, John was fucking in the background. Lastly, Diddy. Now, I already discussed stuff earlier about Diddy. Um, there's a video up about that, my initial reaction, commentary, and all that stuff um, about Diddy and the D. Did I get it? Got it, got it, got it. Got it. Good. Diddy. Okay. Um, I'm running like, wow. three months. I told y'all an hour. It's going to be an hour and a half, okay? But an hour and a half is still not two hours. Progress. Um, Diddy, child, let me get back to the Diddy of it all. Because Diddy, you know, my bingo card, you know, has been bingoing this year. Um, a lot has happened so far this year. One, you know, Diddy House, where is it at? Diddy's home being raided today. I am overtime. <laughs> but an hour and a half is still, you know, not two hours. And I can do an hour and a half, that's fine. Um, that's not that bad. Considering we, I covered... I, I stayed on topic though. I'll I'll do that. I stayed on topic. Okay. Um, Diddy around here, you know, and the fact that in the raid video, you know, you saw his two sons, you know, Christian and Justin, who were detained. Now, as I said earlier, the detainment just means when they're raiding someone's house or whatever. They detain and handcuff any adult who was there just to make sure anybody, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's safety protocol. So, you know, seeing Justin and 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 uh Christian there, I was like, did he didn't didn't move the kids out the way? Child, I said, child, I said the whole squad team, child, I would be scared. I would be scared, you know. And when it was like breaking news, Diddy's house, I was like, Diddy, what? Diddy, Diddy? Child, it was both the LA house and the Miami house. And I, I'm like, where the fuck is Diddy at? 
okay, where did he? Now, it's supposedly because of the investigation into the SA stuff, you know, some trafficking stuff and whatnot, and I'm saying all these things around here. But they was around here, child just getting it, okay? And it, to, to, when I say all the paparazzi just descended upon the house and all this footage that was going on, child, can you imagine being a neighbor? And you could look, let, let's be honest. This Diddy lives or Diddy's houses, these houses that were raided, those are like rich people who don't be thinking they're going to hear the SWAT team saying, move, 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 okay? And Joe Street is littered with police cars and news vans. You trying to get to the to the golf session. Your kid want to go outside and play a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And they can't. A Diddy house around here being raided, okay? The, then, child, then... When we kept on saying where Diddy at, they said Diddy playing because Diddy has a personal. It's a did, TMZ. Not the TMZ work for the government. It's a TMZ has tracked Diddy's personal Love Air LLC jets, the well-known black Gulfstream fire that Diddy has flown, flaunted and flown for years now. It looks like the aircraft is currently on the ground in Antigua, down in the Caribbean. Puffy then went to the Caribbean. I'm like, if his plane is down there in Antigua and his kids are at the house being a t- I said, child, you couldn't bring the kids with you to the to day. Not letting the kids, child. Bad parenting. Then I just seen this on the shade room. Okay, they seen Diddy outside of Miami airport. After to his home for raided. Now, allegedly, TMZ got this with this footage. It says show Diddy at a Miami airport um, a few hours after to the home for raided. His plane was supposedly in the Caribbean Islands. But what? So, why was his plane in the who in the Caribbean with the plane? If that's Diddy. Why is playing in the Caribbean? Thank you, Keisha, for the super chat. Yeah, Misa going to go off. Okay. Off. And I even said earlier, I was like, the fact that Diddy could not have known that this was happening because, child, I said the same thing. I said the same thing in my head. I said, what if Whatever they're looking for ain't even here no more. It's somewhere over in our islands. However, Diddy, you know, sons be even if they're just detained. But could you have had to be at home and then the the police in SWAT gear and the rifle guns or whatever? It's like move, 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 child, tr- triggering, traumatizing, all that stuff, all that stuff, and then. People out here being stupid, child. They said, "What Carisha? Correct? What Carisha at? Girl, Carisha, where you at? Girl? Right here. What's up? Meaning, I ain't detained. Okay, this is my. I'm. I'm not detained nowhere. I'm right here. I'm right here. What's up? Okay, and then somebody said, "Girl, look outside. <laughs> Carisha, look outside. Girl, lawyer up." You in the bathtub sweating? A tw- girl, is she in the bathtub? Is you hiding in the bathtub? Oh, Carisha. Carisha. Uh. And the sad part about it is, like, Carisha didn't do anything, you know what I'm saying, to be involved in it, except being involved with Diddy. She was involved with Diddy. So, you know, folks just saying, girl, Carisha, what you, girl, what you, what you know? What you do? Do you have, some, do you have some paperwork? Now, Cassie's lawyer also spoke out. Because, again, people are wondering what folks have to say. Because, again, when Homeland Security 
raid your homes in two separate states. Okay. And I saw Megan, the reporter, say this is not a California case. It's probably out of New York. And so the New York people had to have the, the Miami people and the Cali people raid two homes on two sides of the world, okay? Down there in Florida and also over there in Cali, okay? Two different things. But Kathy Lloyd, as I said earlier, um, we will always support law enforcement when it, when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs accountable. I'm sorry. Hold Mr. Cohen responsible for his deprived conduct. You know, Cassie got whatever she got in the settlement. But sometimes money still does not equate to you feeling like justice was served. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes money is just, okay, I can pay for therapy. And you know, people are going to wonder what she thinks because she, to me, to me, Cassie was the first tick, tick, boom to this going off. You know, once Cassie put out what she put out, everything else followed. Everything else followed. Um, other, 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 uh, other accusations, um, other lawsuits, just other stuff. And now, you know, they're just fully doing an investigation. It's really that simple. You know, and when you do an investigation, you do have to get all the evidence. And again, my thought process is, you know, Diddy had no idea this was happening, in my opinion, because if he did and he Did not say, hey, sons, they're going to probably come raid the house or whatever. So won't y'all go to a hotel, okay? It's going to be feds everywhere, okay? It's going to be dogs. and Won't y'all, because I don't know what's going on, but right now, you know, just to alleviate y'all being involved, you know, go rent an Airbnb, you know, rent an Airbnb. Maybe, girl, maybe they can't afford it. I don't know. But I'm like, they had how it was the helicopters. They had it was just people. It was all over the place. Okay, all over the place. And I was like, shut somebody, somebody, And they had to search the house. And it's a, as you see, it's a it's a big ass house. All the rooms, shop out open the cupboards and stuff, boxes and stuff. The downfall that we're seeing um, of Diddy is like insane. Okay. Uh, we see Benzino, RBO Day, and 50 Cent weighed in. Um, Benzino, one thing about our culture is that is they can't wait to grab their popcorn and watch a black man go down, all while the powers that be continue to destroy us. Sad. Look, look, two things can be true at the same time. Okay that folk need to look at what's going on with Diddy because he has hurt people over the years, allegedly. And also, other shit is stupid as well. You know, our culture, watch with popcorn is everything go down. Okay? Just saying. Um, Aubrey just reposted it. Uh, what you sow, you shall reap. I pray this emboldens all of all of U.S. victims, girl, all of us victims, I said U.S., um, all of us victims to finally speak on what we have endured. And that's to get you gotcha. Again, ask, look, and I know some of y'all had to be always going to be where Amanda Seals was saying, I told something, I was told about somebody to make people aware of their behavior. If if people talk about how bad Diddy was before, Diddy would not have been able to allegedly, you know, had people endure bad behavior for years, but nobody said shit. Because sometimes the person the person who says something, that's then the villain. 
people tend to want to ignore the person who is calling out the bad behavior versus being pissed at the person doing the bad behavior. That's why Benzino old punk ass is making it seem like, oh my God, yeah, I cannot believe you. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. And 50 Cent, oh, also, oh she also grabs a video of Tupac. But uh, 50 Cent, and 50 Cent's a stupid. 50 Cent said, now, no, now it's not Diddy do, wait, now it's not Diddy don't do it. It's Diddy, <laughs> Diddy done, they done can't. Girl, what? They don't come, it's me words, Jesus. Is Diddy done? They don't come like that unless they got a case. And that's true. That's true. Typically, the feds not coming, knocking like that, unless they have like some kind of concrete mm-hmm. proof that you did something that they need to arrest you for. Um, we shall see. We shall see. I feel like that's all. Oh, I can add this one here because folks kept on saying because, you know, Candace quits because Robin is going to be fired that, oh, they should bring back Monique. Monique posted and said, you know, nope, don't ask me. Mm -mm, mm -mm." But Monique Ben said she would never do um, reality TV. So Monique said she would not be coming back to the Housewives of Potomac. Leave her alone. Anyway, y'all. That's it. Okay, look, I said an hour. <laughs> we got to an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> That's not two hours, y'all. That's not two hours, okay? We had a good old time. Anyway, y'all, I am done for the evening. I hope y'all enjoyed, okay? I will possibly, you know, I will have some kind of premiere video up tomorrow. Again, do not forget to... Go because you y'all YouTube was being real, you know, jerks about stuff. So I just need y'all to understand that I will have content up and YouTube don't be talk, they don't tell y'all nothing. Okay. So I did do one on Diddy. There was a gossip chat up today. You know, I talked about me being overwhelmed as well. So again, even if you don't think just go and look, okay? Go and look because I should have more views on my stuff, y'all. So go look at my videos because again, I'm not only doing lives anymore. Also, if y'all don't know, I have a Bishop Robbery playlist that has all of my Bishop Robbery, you know, content there as well on my page. So y'all go check it out. Anyway, I love you all. Hey, I love you all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it yeah, app is stupid. Very, very dumb. It gets in my nerves. The child, it be glitching and glitching and glitching. Okay. But I thank y'all for rocking with me. Again, there will be premiere videos up. So always go back and check this, this video there. Um, I will talk to y'all later on. Have a good night. I love you all. Be blessed.